All right, guys, welcome back to Dita Mike. It is summertime, official summertime, and it's raining. It's that cold, horrible rain that means that you, you can't do nothing other than stuff indoors. And I film a lot of my stuff outside in the garden, which has annoyed me. So I've now got to film the bit in the garage. I want to give a shout out to um, a YouTuber called I'm Stokesy. Stokesy. I'm Stokesy. I'll put his username down here somewhere. Um, he put out a video last Sunday. He puts out videos every Saturday and Sunday in the morning, as done for years. And he's an urban, I don't know what the correct term is, but he's an urban explorer. He explores car graveyards. Um, he doesn't like doing abandoned properties, but he'll do them. And he has done them. But ideally, mainly he explores Abandoned cars, tractors, lorries. Um, he's found Renault 5 GC turbos in woods. He's found Cosworths. He's found E-type Jags in the bush. He's found Land Rovers. Everything you can think of. These cars are just abandoned. They belong to someone, but for whatever reason, they're just sitting there. Um, trees growing through Mark 1 Fiestas and everything. Give this lad a look at his channel. Awesome content, really good content. Give him a like, give him a sub, because um, we were messaging each other like hundreds of other people were last Sunday. Um, he was just saying he finds it so hard to work out where his channel's going and, and his views have dropped. Um, yeah, give that guy a, a, some love, because he deserves it. And... Um, I can feel his pain because often you wonder where, where it's going. You know, the amount of work you put in to his channels and you don't get nowhere. Um, he's got 40,000 subs. Give him some more. Anyway, that's my little plug over. Um, if you're watching Stokesy, see. Um, hope you're having a good weekend, buddy. Right. Um, the Mark II Space Blue. Um, new City Bar has arrived for it. We can now get that built back up. Um, with the cups and springs and the clamps and that's going to look better. I've ordered some new brakes for it, some new brakes for it. They came in a job lot of stuff, half of stuff I don't want. Um, one of which will be a lamp holder, a seat clamp and probably some brake levers. So if any of you guys watching want a lamp holder, I know Paul Martin does, um, and a seat clamp and some brake levers, they'll be going on eBay at some point over the next few days. Right, I'll see you in the garage in a tick. Remember, I'm Stokesy. Give him a sub. Right, guys, it's me again. Yeah, in the garage today, as you know from the intro just now. This weather's proper winding me up. I can't do nothing outside. You know, because I work outside for a living, but when I'm not at work, I'm gonna be outside doing stuff, right? Um, sissy bar to go on here, space blue. I've already got my springs and cups. Um, they're nice and clean and fresh. That'll go on. Um, I put on the forks, which will probably get another repaint to be fair, because they do look out of place, not the right colour. Um, they need a darker, darker paint job on them. Thanks for your positive comments on the forks. Yeah, I wasn't expecting any positive comments at all, but I had a go and, you know, I'm happy to have a go at this. Um, they couldn't, I couldn't work out why they didn't fit right. You know, it was a bit loose and, and they weren't, it turns out you need a bottom bolt on the forks to slot in to bearings and then they'll sit right and that sort of thing. Like I say, I've ordered a new bolt. The excess will be the, the brake levers and the, the seat clamp and heaven bracket. They'll all be sold on. I've got some more stuff to list today um, on eBay. Um, have a look, Mannequin 9494. Right, let's get this um, sissy bar opened up. We've got a couple of things off. Oh, 
last one here I'm going to talk to you about the prices of Mark II choppers and the parts as well. Because since the Mark IVs come out, I thought the um, Mark IIs would take a hit. But it seems to me that the Mark IIs are going up in value along with the spares. There's a chain guard on the minute. Paul Martin's mentioned this. Um, so there's another lad called Josh, I think he mentioned in Paul Martin's video. £148 for a chain guard. If, you got, if you're selling it, quid's in. You're making a good money there. Probably more than you expected it to go for. Um, but it just proves my point. If, some, if someone has got something they want and two or three people want that specific chain guard in that specific colour, in that specific condition, then it will reach whatever it's going to reach. Um, I mean, I'll include in this video some images of the Mark I Horizon Blue. That chain guard is on. It looks nice. I'm pleased with how that look. Um, right, sissy bar. I didn't want an immaculate one because this space blue isn't immaculate. I just wanted a sissy bar. This came up on eBay right now. I think it was 45 quid plus a fiver postage. So and that is really nice condition. Better than I expected, yeah. I'll put the um, name of the eBayer down here. I bought the Space Blue from him, funny enough. So it could even be the same bar from a Space Blue. Don't know. Um, yeah, you know what? That is lovely condition, that is. Really pleased with that city bar. Lovely. Yeah, really good condition, that is. Yeah, chuff for that. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Right, I'll cut here and I'll show you some other bits. Right. Sissy bars in. I've got my order next up. Which way you go first? So just to clarify, those who want to put in the comments, you got it wrong. Um, right. So... That little thing there, and then the spring, then the cup, then that bolt clamp thing. And then you've got to get two little nuts and bolts to hold it in place. And that's how you put a sissy bar in. It's still a bit high, I've got to push it down a little bit because I think, I didn't know how to board it, but I think the space blues has a bit of a weld. Um, so it's a little bit of debris still kicking about in that frame tube. I've got a grind it down with a metal grinder but like a little one of them things yeah but get a seat on it's a bit high this come down by only that much so i'll do that off camera later on when i get a chance cranks on i uh, just got to get two cotter pins to hold the crank arms in place like i say i've ordered brakes for it um these Brake levers in really clean condition. I might actually sell them because they've got the brake lever hoods as well. Get a shot of them because this job lot is coming with some brake levers, not as good condition. So I might sell them for a good price with the brake lever hoods, fixed price. So that'll help someone out who's doing a really clean build for their chopper. Parts, steel to source, um, seat, the wheels. I've got a that is the um, wheel from the Mark I. Remember, I was telling you about the axle snapped in half. Um, so I put the wheel from the grifter months ago on the Mark I to get it wider board and, and moving. But eventually I'll get this wheel, um, put a new axle in. There's a chap on Facebook. Um, the bloke who sold me the frame and the sissy bar told me about this chap who does this in his spare time, or as a living, or a hobby, he can put new axle in there um, blindfolded apparently. So I'll send it off to him. He can put new axle in and that'll come back. Um, I'll ask him to put on the original 
um, plastic spoke protector as well. And whilst well, it's got a cog off, and then eventually this will go back on the Horizon Blue, which means that back wheel will be surplus that can go back on the Space Blue. If a back wheel turns up in the meantime, that is that is reasonably priced. I'll talk about prices in a minute. Um, then that will go on the Space Blue. Um, I've got the front wheel from the Mark 1 with a hole in it. I'll try and get that repaired so that can go on the Space Blue. So I've got two wheels for it, but they're not ready yet. And they're not... So if two wheels pop up in the meantime that are cheap, I'll grab them and do them as and when I get round to it. Um, but yeah, this 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 space blue is is getting there, and I want to get it done. I want to get it done. Um, I don't. I'm not happy with the way the channel's going regarding the space blue. I want to do more work with it. I'm just you know, it's just sometimes you just struggle to get anything done in life, let alone put out content. And like I said. In the, in the intro, you know, you put a lot of content in these channels, a lot of time goes into making them, um, and it's harder than you guys think. You know, well, some of you know how difficult it is. Um, but yeah, ultimately, this will get built up, and then we'll find a home for it, whether or not I keep it or sell it, I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, not too long with this play, I don't want to bore you too much, but um, um, I'll put in some images throughout the um, video. Um, of the space one space one um mark one chain guard for the um chopper there done that uh, looks looks nice fit it on that one's not far from gunshin now when i'll when i tell you what my plans are with it um but yeah hopefully you like the bit of content on the saturday when it's raining um remember to give stokesy i'm stokesy a little view cracking content on his channel, if you like, if you like urban exploring, if you like anything from the eighties, nineties, no, he find he found. I watched it the other week. Um, he found. Do you remember the old Peugeot two hundred five? Um, yeah, two hundred five GTI Dimmer, D I M M A GTI Dimmer, proper rare cars. You know, you're lucky if you saw any back in the nineteen nineties or early two thousands. He managed to find like six parked up in, in an abandoned house or someone's driveway. Um, if you like urban stuff, exploring, um, you know, cars, classic cars, um, you know, urban stuff, then um, yeah, give that guy a like and, and a sub. And um, hopefully you will enjoy the content. I love watching it, I absolutely love it. On Saturday, these videos come out on a Saturday, so normally I work on Saturdays, so I normally get home and watch it on, on a Sunday or in the evening. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Um, content today has mainly been about this um, Space Blue City Bar and my progress on it. So I didn't want you guys thinking I've forgotten about it. Um, thanks for watching. Remember to, if you want to like and subscribe and share, I'd appreciate that. It means an awful lot to the channel and it gives like i said before it gives you confidence if you see those figures go up and as views go up you can that gives you confidence to do another one um because i'm not overconfident as it is and i suffered from really bad um a stutter <laughs> let me get a stutter when i say the word stutter um when i was younger and i was had no confidence at all so it's a big thing for me to film um put my face out on on the internet and, and do videos on bicycles and that sort of thing. Right guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you later on on the next one. Uh, remember to um mannequin nine four nine four page on eBay. You might see some bits you want. I'm doing some listings today so I've done nothing for about two weeks on eBay. Apart from buy stuff I don't need. Right um thank you guys I'll catch you later on in the next one. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>